Hey everyone, so for most of you that have been here for a while, you probably already know that I have this weird obsession with Waluigi getting his own game. I mean, come on, let's just look at Princess Daisy for a second here. When's the last time she had her own game and even Waluigi doesn't? It just, it, it blows my mind. But anyways, I decided since he didn't have a physical game of his own that I would just have to make him one. So I went with Waluigi's Taco Stand, and I know this has been covered by multiple people here on YouTube, but it hasn't been covered by me. This is a ROM hack that was created by Kaze Amanwar, and sorry if I butchered the name, but most of you that are recent subscribers here since the Pokemon Gold and Silver video probably remember me taking apart and yeeting the Zelda Missing Link board that I got off of eBay, which a lot of you mentioned was a mistake, and it turned out this random game I unknowingly bought was made by him, so that's pretty funny. So anyways, I figured I would take the chance to show you all that I still have it and it still runs just fine. I just really wanted that case. But getting back on topic, Kaze made a video himself about his ROM hack he created, and in the description of the video, he leaves a download link for the Waluigi's Taco Stand patch. So I'll leave a link to his video in the description below for those of you who want to try this at home. Now to start things off like usual, we're going to go with the box art, which I bought from the company Hack to the Future over on Etsy. Finding this actually wasn't that hard considering how popular this ROM hack is, so it's also not surprising that I found a website selling the cartridge label as well. This made the whole process for the video a lot faster than the other ones. So let's just go ahead and talk about the cartridge. I decided to keep the purple theme going and bought a purple shell from Retro Stage. I thought this would be better than just putting it on a standard gray cart, but let me know what you guys think about that. Next up we have the most important part, the Retro Blaster 2.0. This along with the N64 Blaster is what makes this possible to play on original hardware, which I'll show you how to do later in the video. So I put this in the case and applied the label and here it is. I think it visually turned out pretty good, but we still have to head over to the computer and program it real fast. So let me just pop the cartridge into the Retro Blaster and we'll get started. So to start this off, this is already assuming you have the Super Mario 64 ROM. I backed up mine on the Retro Blaster earlier and I placed it over on the desktop for you all to see. After that, we're going to head over to Kaze's channel and grab the Waluigi patch that he left in the description. After that's downloaded, we can head over to the ROM patcher of your choice, but Kaze did leave one included in the download, but I'm just going to show you guys an alternative online patcher called ROM Patcher JS. But again, you guys can use whatever patcher you want. So anyways, the first thing we're going to do is select our ROM, which I have on the desktop here. And after that, we're going to have to select our ROM patch file. For me, that's in my downloads folder, and I'm going to have to extract it real fast. So just right click and hit extract to. And inside this folder, we're going to select the .bps file. And this site will give you a little check mark to let you know everything's going to be okay ahead of time, which is pretty cool. But next, we're going to hit apply patch. And after that, you can put the file anywhere you want. But for me, I'm going to put it on the desktop for now. And also, so we don't get confused, I'm going to rename it to Waluigi's Taco Stand. Now, inside of the Retro Blaster software, we can finally start exporting the game onto the board. To do that, select your blaster model, for me that's 2.0, and then we're going to hit Write ROM. After that, we need to select the Waluigi's Taco Stand game that we just patched. And then it's going to erase everything that you had currently on the board, or if it's empty, it should just start writing the game. But let's just give this a few minutes and we'll come back. Alright, so that took about 8 minutes, so not too bad. Now we can remove the game from the Retro Blaster and test it out on the N64. Alright, and you can see here I have the cart, so let's just go ahead and pop it in. Awesome, looks like it works. I will say though, I'm pretty sure you're going to need the N64 RAM expansion cartridge to get this to run correctly as well, but yeah, everything seems to be running good, so I'm probably just going to do a small bit of gameplay here, and then I'll be wrapping this video up. Alright, so I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm probably just going to play one mission real fast just to show you guys kind of what this game's about. I love the, uh... Zelda music mixing in with this. This is the taco stand. You will be taking customers' orders. Try your best to satisfy them. If you put together all the right ingredients, the customers will be happy. Make all customers happy to advance to the next level. 
Seems simple enough, right? And I only got three guys here, so it's not that busy. A good day. Hey, I'd like a big tasty taco. Only cheese and beef, please. After this, it just kind of teleports you into the uh, taco fields. Collect all the ingredients your customer asks for and then choose serve taco in the pause menu. If you've collected only, wait, if you collected only the correct ingredients, you'll make an amazing taco. All right, so we're kind of trapped here. Blocks. You gotta be slick. You gotta be slick when you're climbing on blocks. Or maybe not. Nope, it's not happening. He has a little bit of a slide to him. It's throwing me off. I'm just gonna climb it like a normal person. Uh, okay, maybe not. Oh, all right. All right, I'm just gonna do the double jump. We're doing good. We're doing all right. I think that was beef that I just picked up. It kind of looked like bacon, but I'm gonna say that's beef. And look at that cheese right there. I think that's all he asked for, so I'm not gonna bother with this guy. I'm just gonna take a quick tour around here. This is lettuce. Took some fall damage there. Tomatoes. More blocks. All right, Let's give me a hard time. I got this for the fans. No, for the fans. No, for the fans. Got it. No, too far. It is a little, uh, you can definitely tell the difference a little bit that you're playing a different character. Well, I mean, he definitely has different mechanics, I will say. Feels different. I think it's pretty much it to this level. Uh, let's just go ahead and press pause. I don't see nothing. Probably because I'm running, maybe. See that? You see that slide? Pretty long. Anyways, press start, and there it is. Serve taco. No congratulations or thank you, he just walks off. Rude. Now this guy's gonna ask me for more, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop it with the gameplay here. If you guys like the content that you see here today, let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see me cover next, and also feel free to join the Discord. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.